Good evening, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I'm at Lakeview Cemetery this evening in Burlington, Vermont. It is sandwiched, uh, well, it's on North Avenue, sandwiched between the former St. Joseph's Orphanage and Burlington High School on the other side. Conveniently enough, I have videos on both of those buildings, and I'll include those links in the description below. As for filming at Lakeview Cemetery, I do come here a lot. If you have been watching my videos, you'll see I have a playlist of well over 20 videos I've recorded here. There are too many interesting people to cover, I think, in my lifetime. Though I may try. <laughs> see, I seem to be trying anyway. But uh, right now, I'm standing in front of the Flynn Monument. See right there? And if you're thinking, hmm, Flynn Theater, Flynn Avenue, Flynn uh, School, ding, 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 you are ever so correct. They are associated with John J. Flynn. The easiest way you're going to get your name on a street sign and or a building is to own the land underneath them. And that's certainly true of the um, Flynn School and Flynn Avenue. Uh, he certainly owned the land in those two places. As for Flynn Theater, I'll be doing a video on that sometime in the future, so stay tuned. But I want to focus on Nellie Flynn, his wife, an accomplished woman, accomplished person in her own right. She deserves a video of her own. We can see here that she, was, uh, she lived between 1861 and 1922. In fact, she died... Uh, quite a few years before he did, 18 years before he did, 1854 to 1940 for him. So why was she an accomplished woman? Because she was a botanist. The primary source of information I have for her is from a site called plants.jstor.org. So that's what I'm quoting from right now. Quote, American botanist based in Vermont. She was a colleague of C.G. Pringle. Nellie Flynn collected mainly in the vicinity of Burlington, Vermont and Nantucket, Massachusetts. She also collected living material and her garden at the Cannon Phelps house overlooking Lake Champlain, Burlington, contained most of the native plants of the region. In her later years, she gathered data for a proposed revision to the flora of Vermont. She was an expert on local plants and wrote The Flora of Burlington and Vicinity, 1935, at the suggestion of L.R. Jones, published posthumously by her husband, the businessman and real estate developer John J. Flynn. In addition to North American collections, she also collected some material from Europe and North Africa. The Nellie Flynn Private Herbarium was bequeathed to Goddard College, Plainfield, Vermont, and named as the N.F. Flynn Memorial Herbarium and acquired on loan by the Pringle Herbarium, also in Vermont, from Goddard College in 1956. Now, I had the honor of seeing some of those specimens she collected at, um, oh, I want to say Torrey Hall at UVM. Sounds about right. Uh, but if you're interested in that kind of thing, I would definitely call UVM first to ask if A, if it's still there, and B, if it's at Tory. I didn't touch a thing. I tried not to breathe on anything either. Oh my gosh. And um, it might be good to note that given that uh, she lived uh, until 1922, that uh, her entire life preceded the the uh, atomic bombs so uh, her specimens uh, were not uh, exposed to radiation there's that um, now they married in 1880 he was 26 and uh, about 26 and she was about 19 when they wed Note also that as a female botanist uh, collecting between 1896 and 1902, that she was traveling the world with a group of male botanists. And as I understand it, her husband did not accompany her on many of those trips, if any of those trips. 
And for clarification, let me just tell you where she traveled for these specimens. She went to the Bahamas, Cuba, Bermuda, Canada, the U.S., France, Italy, Switzerland, the United Kingdom, and even Morocco. Pretty amazing. Now, uh, I did, as I said, get to see her, her specimens with the seeds and all that good stuff. But I don't know diddly squat about plants. I mean, really, what I know you can put in the base of a thimble. Um, but still, fascinating stuff. Her book, by the way, if you were uh, thinking about reading it, is in Latin. Understand that. It's the uh, phyla of the um, specimens she collected. Now, moving over here to this other m m uh, marker. Oh, and don't you just love... I love when they have these markers here. These, uh, this is F for Flynn, and it shows us the uh, demarcation line of their site, of their plot. But here uh, is also to Nellie Flynn, this beautiful plaque, which says, to our honored and beloved member, Mrs. Nellie F. Flynn, Nellie Francina Waite Flynn, from the Azza Gray Memorial Botanical Chapter of Agassiz Association. Now, if I just butchered any of those names, please let me know in the comments below. Patricia, my gosh, elocution lessons for you. And if we look over here at the marker, this monument, I mean, first of all, look at that. Flynn. And it's big. It's, it's quite large. I mean, I am, uh, well... Pretty sure I'm still a bit taller than it, but I'm 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 just under five foot two, so it's it's st substantial and uh, and uh, tallish. So we can see there are plants growing in this planter here, but uh, my best guess is these are weeds. And if you want to let me know in the comments below, that'd be fantastic because I think I just said I know diddly squat. That is correct. I recognize a handful of flowers, six maybe, six kinds of flowers. That may be sad. <laughs> Hard to say if that's sad or not, but it is. But we can see that they are buried near all these trees. Trees as far as the eye can see, really. Including this one right here, which is quite tall. I know the sun is right there. The sun is, um, it's another hour and 20 minutes or so before the sun sets. You see, it says Flynn on the other side. And uh, this other planter, I mean, these really do look like weeds to me. Do you know what they are? Have you a clue? Let me know in the, the, in the uh, comments below. Now, in case you want to come and visit them here at Lakeview, I mean, to enter is certainly free. It's a cemetery, a municipal secular cemetery. Uh, how I remembered was this crypt over here, this mausoleum. Da, da, da. It says Allen on the top there. It has a cross. It's also, uh, they are on the southwest side. They are closer uh, to the lake, but I don't see a, that much of a, I don't see that great lake view to offer you from here. The lake is over that way. Um, they are closer to the, uh, up, and so, St. Joseph's Orphanage is now an apartment, apartment apartment complex. So, But forgive me if I keep referring to it as the orphanage. They're on the orphanage side, so that's the south side. In fact, uh, there's another um, mausoleum over this side. Uh, Clarkson is the name of that one. And you see through the fence over here that through that fence would be the orphanage area. So, when you enter Lakeview, you have to come down the right path, the right side of the path, because it's one way. But once you're in here, um, it's, the, it's the farthest left path to be on. So, the Allen Mausoleum will be on your right, and their graves will be on uh, your left, if you're heading down on the left side, on the west side. All right. This was really what I wanted to say. Well, talk about was Nellie Flynn today because she was an accomplished woman. 
in her own right. I'm pretty sure also they did not have children. Um, so, and I don't know what she died of. So if you know, if you could find that information and tell me, that'd be fantastic. Because I've been looking. I can't find it. She's very hard to find information on. Uh, but she is listed as a botanist on the um, Harvard University website. So there you go. But it's only a basic information about her, her name, really. So until I see you in the next one, you have a great evening. Thanks for uh, watching. You know, and if you, if you are enjoying my material, my other videos, subscribe. Because, and if you click on the notification bell when you subscribe, then you will know immediately as soon as I upload a new video. And I upload every day of the week. It's really fun. Conduct research for a few days. And then I go forth and uh, to the sites and I um, record. In case you're wondering how that works. Alrighty. I'll see you soon. Bye.